Hey guys, it's Mr. R. Um, I was doing some wiring on the Mustang and I figured I would uh, show you guys how to do, uh, how to uh, crimp and run heat shrink on this wiring. So I've got the uh, positive wired up in the coil and I'm doing the negative right now. So I will position the camera right here and I'll show you how to do this for those of you that don't know. So here's the negative side going to the coil and here is the negative MSE coil, okay, coming from the box we need to connect these. So the first thing you want to do is take your heat shrink. I like to open it up a little bit. Slide your heat shrink on, down past. Give this copper wire a little bit of a twist. This is a 16 gauge butt connector. It's non heat shrinkable. That's why we have the heat shrink down there. Slide this about halfway through and then hold it there with your finger. Grab your crimps and see that little, that bigger portion of the crimp. We're going to put that about um, halfway down right here. And then we're going to give it a squeeze and hold it for a sec. And then with a moderate tug, she's not going anywhere. Okay, so that's half the battle. The other half of the battle is we have to line this up here inside, right here. Crimp it down, right there, give her a tug, and there we go. And sorry, my dogs are barking, I apologize. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slide that heat shrink right over, just like this. And if you don't have a mini torch like I do, but if you have like a little lighter or something, that'd be perfect. Even if you have a lighter, just go over the heat shrink. Don't keep, don't stop the flame directly on it because you'll burn the heat shrink. Just go right over it nice and slow and see how that heat shrink goes right down. Nice and easy, just like that. Keep the flame moving, don't stop. Even if you have to change position, get on this side. Don't stop the flame directly on it. That will burn the heat shrink. We don't want to do that. We want to shrink it down. So as it gets tighter and tighter, it's going to create a watertight seal, or at least close to one. Okay. Let me turn this off. And there we go. That's what it should look like. Again, moderate tug. I shouldn't be able to pull it apart. And that's it. I will update you guys again um, when everything's all done. With uh, I got some extra wire conduit. I'm going to... I'm going to put down and tuck all these wires away. Thanks, guys.